Right, so I'm seeing a lot of backlashes. I see a lot of bitches asking, like, oh my god, is Cardi system really named as Hennessy? Like, that is mad ghetto. And it's like, well, let me tell you how my parents came up with that name. Well, my mom was giving birth to my sister, like, around 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And my dad came through from a party. He was like, yo, I was just drinking Hennessy on my way to the hospital. I was thinking about the name over and over again. That's my favorite liquor. And I love the name. We're going to name her Hennessy. But it's like the same bitches that's calling my sister named Ghetto is the same bitches that have a cousin with a ghetto ass name, like, I Tibia, Generosity, Roach Quisha, so stop it, bitch. And for the bitches that have boring-ass basic name that two million people have, like, shut up. Your name is boring and basic, just like your pussy, so stop it. And I don't know, my sister's not really bothered with it. Actually, she loved that my dad named her that. I'm actually kind of mad that my dad named me fucking Bell Cal is like, what the fuck, but... More or less, y'all bitches talking about the name is ghetto, but y'all bitches do the most ghettoest, nastiest shit when y'all drinking Hennessy, so eat dick. Eat a dick and wash it down with some Hennessy. So here's the deal. A lot of people were wondering whether or not my girl Hennessy Carolina was really named Hennessy Carolina, or rather Hennessy. I don't know whether or not Carolina is a part of her real name, but apparently Hennessy is really her name. And as you can see, Cardi B, now I pronounce Cardi B's name Belcaliz, or oh, maybe it's Belcaliz. I don't know. I don't know the exact pronunciation. Somebody let me know. Is it Belcalis or Belcaris or how do you how do you pronounce it? You know, Cardi B has a funny accent. You know, my boo doesn't know how to talk for shit. I'm just teasing her. You know, I love me some Cardi B. She's one of my favorites. But anyways, man, Hennessy. I t- listen. I knew that my girl Hennessy was the shit. As soon as Cardi B posted, see, I saw Hennessy on Instagram before Cardi B brought her on Love and Hip Hop New York with her for season six. I saw a picture of her on Cardi B's Instagram and I was like, damn, Cardi B sis is bad as shit. I was like, oh shoot. And she had a private Instagram page at the time. And you know, and I went and followed, to, you know, to go be thirsty, go be nosy and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was like, well, who is she? Like, what, what is she about? Like, I understand that she's Cardi B's sister, but what's her story? Like, who is she, right? You know? So, you know what I'm saying? And I was like thinking to myself the whole time, like, now Cardi B goes by a nickname, but it's funny because, you know, uh, Hennessy, wasn't that the liquor maker's real last name? So I was like, damn, is that really her name? Because I never heard, you, you know, when people become famous, people who know you will come to like the internet and call you by your real name. Should they be like, man, that's just Amy Joe. And the chick name would be like Starquisha or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But they'd be like, man, that's just Amy Joe. I grew up with that half of over there in the projects. You know what I'm saying? Like people will put you on blast. But I never saw anybody come on Hennessy's page or anywhere and be like, oh, that's just Joanne. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, damn, is her real name really Hennessy? Because that's all I've seen people call her. It's Hennessy and Henny. And then come to find out it's really her name. I was like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> But Cardi B finally told the story. Like, listen, this is how she got the name. Daddy's favorite liquor. Oh shit! I'm sorry, but that's a tight story. I mean, you know, he named this princess after his favorite liquor, and half of y'all heifers that are talking shit don't even know your daddy. That's the funny thing. It, the fucked up thing about it is your mother doesn't know who your father is. <laughs> that's why they really hating. <laughs> All the bitches that got something to say about my girls Cardi and Henny, they don't even know who the fuck their father is. <laughs> Is it funny to not know who your father is? No. Is it funny to not know who your father is and then go around talking shit about a woman who was named after their father's favorite beverage? Oh, that's freaking hilarious. It's hilarious to me because you're trying to clown her when you have bigger issues, bigger damn mountains and mountain lions to go tackle. What the fuck? You need, bitch, go find your daddy. Go get a magnifying glass and find daddy. Find Walt. Where is Walt? Where in the world? It's Carmen San Diego. You need to go find your daddy instead of trying to talk shit about my girl Henny. But anyways, this is all my opinion. Just because I think that this is funny, just because I think that this is cool, doesn't mean you feel the same way. You might be a damn hater. All I know is my girl Cardi B is on Love and Hip Hop New York Season 7. And I also know that my girl Hennessy Carolina is on Love and Hip Hop New York Season 7. Now, two episodes of Ear thus far. I watched the first one. I'm about to watch the second one tonight. Honestly, this season, I mean, they would have to put on a lot more Cardi B to save the season because it's dry. It's, it's drier than Joan Rivers' pussy. And, you know, 
I love me some Cardi B. I love me some Hennessy Carolina. But this season is really reeking. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. And it's not their fault because they're like the best part of it, basically. And Kimbella. But this season, mm, I, I don't know what they were thinking. They, they need to hire me to come up with some ideas for the show. I would have been like, put Cardi B back on screen. They'd be like, dude, you're, every scene you say, where's Cardi? Put Cardi back on the screen. Or every other scene you're saying, hey, where's Hennessy Carolina? Put it back on screen. Do another confessional. You know? Uh, play a video of, of Hennessy telling some jokes or something. Or just standing there being cute. They'd be like, dude, you all about Cardi and Henny. It, it, it's not the Cardi and Henny show. It's love and hip-hop. And I'd be like, well, you need to give them their own damn show. But anyways, this is all my opinion. Just because I love me some love and hip-hop. Just because I love me some Cardi and Henny. Just because I think that the story about her beautiful sister's name is hilarious cool and inspiring just because I plan to name my first daughter after my favorite beverage doesn't mean you feel the same way you might be a hater either way let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meat magazine .com for more follow me on twitter at meat magazine meat magazine 7 to google plus meat magazine blog on instagram what do you guys think about it all would you ever name your daughter after your favorite beverage see a lot of y'all like to drink piss so that wouldn't be a good idea which R. Kelly listening to asses but that's none of my business the point is so would you ever do that not drink pee because I know half of you do do that. I mean, would you ever name your daughter or your son or anybody? Would you? Hell, would you name your cat after your favorite beverage? Let me know what you think about doing that below. Do you think that's ratchet? Do you think it's cool? I think it's the bomb.com. Jesus. Let me know below. Ah, Meat Magazine.